بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو دس ویڈیو آن اوپن اے آئی دس از این آرٹیفیشیل انٹیلیجنس پلیٹ فارم اینڈ ٹوڈے آئی ول بی ڈسکسنگ اوپن اے آئی چیٹ جی پی ٹی ان ریگارڈس ٹو یوزنگ فار اوریکل ایپیکس اینڈ ادر اوریکل پروڈکٹس پی ایل سی کو ایل ایس کو ایل ٹو جنریٹ دا کوڈس آر ایف یو وانٹ ٹو کریٹ سم کانٹینٹس even you can do that one uh, it will also provide you uh, code documentation on your code so open ai is a research and de deployment company and they today they have different uh, products but we will be discussing at least uh, two and the demo will be on the chat gpt because this is related to images only So this is a digital assisted language learning, D-A-L-L and E and 2 is the version, image generation. Uh, this is, these image generation are using your uh, AI, OpenAI and then it has the chat GPT generative pre-trained transformer. So they, their code is uh, trained good enough that it will understand your inputs which will be textual. You will write a text, it will understand, it will respond. It's a sort of chat board. Okay, now, <clears throat> if you see here, uh, this is the team of uh, OpenAI, where they have chairman and president, Greg Brockman, and chief scientist, Ayla Satskarvar, very tough to pronounce, but anyway, uh, Sam Altman, CEO, these are the non-employees and investors are Microsoft, uh, Red Hoffman, Charitable Foundation, Khosla uh, Ventures and now we will be having the demo and uh, please do share your feedback under the video. So in the demo I have created uh, account which is free to create. Let me close this. Here it goes, let me, okay, so here it is. Uh, this is uh, chat.openai.com and we will be creating a new chart and I will be writing over here. Now for example, uh, maybe I am from a different background, I don't know how to create tables or things like that but I can maybe create application within Oracle Apex where you don't need to code. So I will be asking uh, OpenAI to do certain things for me. So I am saying uh, create, let's say two tables, amp and depth, and insert five sample record in both the tables right full stop and run now good because I have not passed it as uh, that uh, it is SQL or something like that so it has corrected as well so this is good ideally I should have provided at the end both the tables using SQL so even it has corrected my mistake. So first it has created two tables and now it is inserting data. Uh, giving commands to insert data in these tables. And it is creating even uh, integrity constraints as well. Foreign keys and all those things. Right? This is how it is adding the records. It is not adding, but it is giving you the code. You can copy paste and use it. Good. Now, <coughs> create table structure of document management system using SQL, right? Uh, let me put it Oracle SQL. So our syntax will be accordingly. 
Okay. I haven't given him what kind of table it has to create, but it will create a document management system where you can upload your documents, you can manage them. So first it has created a documents tab table, then it is going to create the users table. Okay. And at the end it will give some description as well about the data type or fields or you know insertion of data depending on the version of Oracle that you are using. Yeah. Okay. Now let me say create a PL SQL to add two numbers using Oracle PL SQL. Right? Let's see. Or even you can use for other languages, let's say Java or Python, whatever. So it has created a procedure where you can pass two parameters and it will return you with the sum. And it will also create a block as well instead of procedure which you can directly run in the SQL plus. Ah, excellent. This is done. See how easy now it is. Right. Uh, let me give something. Mm, create a function to multiply two numbers and return result using Oracle PL SQL. Right. And let's see. And now I have asked him to create a function, stored function for multiplying two numbers. So it is now creating function, two parameters, and return. <laughs> oh my God. And below is the document documentation as well. You can use that documentation. It has declared the variable my result number, and that's it. And even it is using the DBMS output as well this is done oh my god okay next is let's say for example I want to have some contents generation uh, see here even they have given the example and the limitations they have provided they are saying may occasionally occasionally generate incorrect information may occasionally produce harmful instruction or biased contents limited knowledge of word and events after 2021 because they have kept uh, events up to 2021 no problem this is good enough okay uh, let's say for example um, um, let me say um, for example i'm creating a website uh, my site is related to AI and here I will be sharing um, information related to AI right and see this is just sentence let's see what it will how it will transform great idea this is a see now you have to of course review the text generated by it and which you can further so next is um, uh, at the same time I will be providing consultancy of AI to different clients around the globe let's see what it will how it will transform. See? <laughs> of course, they are saying it is not 100% correct, but at least it is giving you good enough sort of expanded text. And now using this, you can create documentation, you can sometimes, you know, everyone will not have the same writing skills. So here it will improve your writing skills. You can create minutes, 
in a better manner you know if you are uh, doing secretarial job uh, or something else so tell me about pakistan let's see what it will say asia border second largest cities karachi pakistan 1947 population of this million 220 million people making it the fifth most populous country in the world wow we need to control it otherwise <laughs> we might come first uh -huh. so this is uh, how you can generate the text or you can get the code they have uh, another api as well uh, i think code uh, something like that uh, so anyway uh, let me show you something about open ai this is their site and you can go to about they have their different details codex this one i would say uh, open ai codex uh and this d a w l e this is for images and uh, open jan open ai and this is what they have the information chat gpt gpt uh, dell e whisper alignment startup fund example they have examples as well pricing okay let me show you the pricing uh, simple and flexible so this is for image models Uh, for different resolutions they have different rates per uh, per per image okay and language models base models and they have different rates start for free pay as you go choose your model fine tune models so these are the different models and embedding models embedding usage codes so this is the objective was to show you the chat uh, features which you can use chat gpt and uh, i think now uh, again it is it was just to show you something about uh, open ai now it the usage of it depends on your requirements the way you want to use it the way you are interested to use it uh, just let me give you one one more maybe example create a uh, uh, code to add two numbers using java i never coded for java but let me have it see so you don't need to write all these things let it let him write it for you and this you can copy paste but it will make people dumb to this is the drawback of uh, certain automations or ai because people will stop thinking hmm. excellent it has the documentation as well explanation of the code right just let's wait for that i think uh, it give the idea to how to use it and you can just create uh, your account over here in open ai it will be on the top try here right and then you can use it right and uh, please share your feedback uh, this is our community portal and uh, you can join it for free erpstuff.com we are there since 2006 and it has uh, different topics covered on oracle and oracle apex and different other modules of the oracle oracle ebs so you can enjoy this as well right thank you very much and allah hafiz